Hello everyone, today we will see about FCFS first come first serve CPU scheduling algorithm. See, first come first serve, it is non preemptive. The mode is non preemptive. What does it mean? See, I have told about uh, what is preemption and what is non preemption. Preemption means the uh, we can stop the process forcefully, and non preemption means means the process will run full burst time until it finish. Means it will run until the burst time finishes. It will run full exit until the burst time finishes. So see, they have given process ID, arrival time, burst time. We will find the completion time, turnaround time, and waiting time. There are four processes given and arrival time starting with zero and burst time. So we'll see. See, so this is uh, this is called the Gantt chart. Gantt chart. G A N T T chart. C H R T. This is called Gantt chart. See, we'll start. See, it's a it is a non preemptive, so it will uh, means so it will run until full execution. See, first P1 will come and the arrival time starts with um, 0. See, as here is 0 and burst time is up to 5. So, P1 will run um, up to 5. Up to 5. See, and the arrival time is up to 3, 0 to 3. So, means all the process are uh, arrived now. Means all the process are means available now. So, but it is scheduling algorithm, algorithm is first come first or FCFS. So, P2 will come next. P2 will run up to 3 units, 5 plus 3, 8 units. Then P3 will come, P3 will run up to 2 units, that is, you can 10. Then P4 will come simultaneously and it will run up to 4 units, up to 14. So this is how GAN chart looks like. First P1 will come, then P2 will come, then P3 will come, then P4 will come. So then because it is first come first serve and it will run full full burst time it will run because it is a non preemptive shilling algorithm means the process will run it the process will run is full burst time uh, if it's preemption then it will run if there's a time quantum then we will do round round robin SRTF these are preemption scheduling algorithm but it's a non preemptive now we'll find the completion time see p1 completed at 5 p1 is completed in 5 P2 in 8, P2 have 8 and P3 in 10, P3 10, P4 finishes in 14. So this, see, this all time are in milliseconds, this all time measured in milliseconds, I have told you in previous video. See, now you'll find the turn time and waiting time. So I have told you in previous video about the means, um, about the means, yeah, formula of turn around time and waiting, waiting time, how to find it. Turn around time means, turn around time equal to completion time minus arrival time. Completion time as arrival time and waiting time equal to you can yeah, means turn around time minus burst time turn around time minus burst time so we'll we have find out the completion time now we'll find the arrival means turn around time so completion time of p1 is 5 and arrival time is 0 so 5 minus 0 is 5 then completion time of p2 is 8 and arrival time is 1 8 minus 1 is 7 then completion time of p3 is 10 Arrival time is 2, then it 10 minus 2 8. Then completion time of P4 is 14 and arrival time is 3. Then it is 14 minus 3 11. So this is how we can find the turn around time. Now we'll find the waiting time. Waiting time formula is turn around time minus burst time. Turn around time minus burst time. So 5 minus 5 0. 7 minus 3, I think 4 is. Yes. 8 minus 2 is 6. 11 minus 4 is 7. This is how we easily we can find turn around time and waiting time. But in exam they ask about average turn around time and average waiting time also. Then how can you find out? See how easy it is. Average turn around time. Average turn around time. So we have five four processes. We'll write all the means five. We'll do sum of all the four process turn around time and we'll divide by four because there are four processes. So 5 plus 7 plus 8 plus 11, 5 plus 7 plus 8 plus 11 by 4. Please you calculate the means result what it comes. So now you'll find this is how we can find also waiting time also similarly. So waiting time equal to there are again 4, uh, four process and we will do the sum 0 plus 4 plus 6 plus 7. 
so 0 plus 4 plus 6 plus 7 divided by 4 0 plus 4 plus 6 plus 7 divided by 4 so the result will come you calculate it please so this is easily how can we calculate the FCFS first come first so CPU scheduling algorithm so this is a non preemptive I have told you what the meaning of non preemptive means means the process will run its full burst time un until it finishes and when you see preemptive then we'll preemptive algorithm like round robin we will see in next video in upcoming videos so thank you for watching please subscribe my channel for more upcoming videos thank you